All right, we're going to learn the formulas that we're going to use in order to find the lengths of chords, secants, and tangents. We're going to start with the chord formula. So remember that a chord is a line whose two endpoints lie on the circle. So for our chord formula, we are going to take the first chord that is divided into two parts. So we're going to say that this is part A and this is part B. And we're going to take A and multiply it times B. That product is going to be the same as the second chord multiplied. So this is going to be C and D and we're going to do the product of C, D. So let's try it out. All right, so we're trying to find X. We're going to take the first chord, 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 is equal to the second chord, Remember that if you have a binomial, that it needs to go inside a parentheses. So 4 times 5x minus 1. And now we're going to use our algebra to solve. So it's going to be 36 is equal to 4 times 5x minus 1. Symmetrical, 4 times 5x minus 1 is equal to 36. Now you can rainbow. So 20x minus 4 is equal to 36. Zero pair. 20x is equal to 40. Divide by 20, divide by 20. x is equal to 2. So then I can go in and I can find the length of the second part of that chord, which is going to be 5x minus 1. So 5 times 2 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. All right, now we're going to take a look at a secant. So for this secant, the first thing that we're going to do is look at the two parts that the secant is broken into. So for this formula, we're going to look at A and we're going to look at B. So the formula says, take the part of the secant that is outside of the circle and multiply it times the sum of the two secant parts. And then we're going to look at the second one. So this is going to be C. and D. Again, we're going to take the part of the secant that's outside of the circle and multiply it times the sum of the two secant parts. I'm going to change this just to color code to make it a little bit easier. So you're always using the part of the secant outside of the circle first, and then you're simply summing the two parts of the secant. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. So I'm going to start with this secant here first. I'm going to start with the 12. So I'm going to have 12 times... And now I need to put the sum of the two parts. So I'm going to put the binomial inside the parentheses and sum the two parts. So I have 12, here's my 12, plus, and here's my binomial. Okay, That is going to equal 15. And now again, I'm going to sum the two parts. 
put my binomial inside of parentheses, and now I'm ready to solve. So I'm going to do 12 times x plus 20 is equal to 15 times x plus 14. 12x plus 240 is equal to 15x plus 210. 15x plus 210, symmetrical, is equal to 12x plus 240. Zero pair out the x's. 3x plus 210 is equal to 240. In. Zero pair out the 210. So 3x is equal to 30. Divide by 3, divide by 3, x is equal to 10. So now that I have x, I can come over here and I can find the lengths of the two parts of the secant that are missing. So x plus 8 would be 10 plus 8 which would be 18, and x minus 1, which would be 10 minus 1, which would be 9, is the other part of the secant that's missing. All right, last formula, tangent. So just like the secant, we're going to start with the part that is outside of the circle. So we'll start with a. My formula is going to be a squared because I don't have any other part of my tangent. The tangent will only touch the circle in what in one point or at one point. But then for my formula for the other side, it is a secant, so I'm going to use that same exact formula. So I'm going to have b and then so it's B times the sum of the two parts. So really the only difference here is, is that you have a tangent. When you have a tangent, you're going to square it. All right, here's our sample. So we're going to start with the 16, so it's going to be 16 squared is equal to 8 bracket binomial plus 8 bracket. 16 squared is going to equal 8 times 5x plus 7. 256 is equal to 40x plus 56. 40x plus 56 is equal to 256. Zero pair of the 56. 40x is equal to 200. Divide by 40. x is going to equal 5. If I know x, now I can find the missing part of the secant. So 5x minus 1, 5 times 5 minus 1, 25 minus 1 is 24. So pn will equal 24. And now you know how to find the lengths of chords, secants, and tangents.